Hey guys, this is Trix from Patchwork of Tips and today I will be reviewing the Userin Daily Protection Face Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF 30. With Zinc Oxide and Titanium Dioxide as active ingredients, this sunscreen promises to offer broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection with its fast absorbing, non-greasy, fragrance-free and non-comedogenic formula. Um, the ingredients can be found beneath this flap here. Just lift this up and see. Yeah, there you go. So, as the ingredients, you have um, Insulizol 2%, Octinocate 7.5%, Octisalate 4.5%, Titanium Dioxide 2.4%, and Zinc Oxide 4.8%. Um, I guess now one of the issues I have here is titanium dioxide. I'm not a huge fan of titanium dioxide in sunscreens because it's one of the major causes of white cast, which you would see as we proceed with this review. Um, the product comes with, an, with a visible expiry date over here, which is something I'm not used to with most sunscreens I've used in the past. Most of them tend to have like a batch code or something like that, which you'd have to take to a website called Check Expiry Dates. Also, I will leave the link in the description box below. And you take the batch code to the website and then you can get like an expiry date for your product. But anyway, this one comes with an expiry date visibly here. This one expires December 2020. So um, let's move on to the texture of this product. I'll pour a little bit here. Yeah, there you go. So the texture feels creamy, creamy and light, and you know, it spreads easily. You can see, very creamy, silky, light texture that just basically spreads easily all over now the problem i have here is as time goes by it's kind of like starts to dry up and becomes a little bit difficult to like rub in at this stage it's kind of like stiff to move around and i guess that's it this is how far i can go with rubbing it in so if you noticed if you notice I mean, um, you see that over here, there seems to be kind of like a white -ish cast here in this area. Why here is clear and here is clear. It doesn't really sink into the skin fully. It leaves a visible white cast, which is one of the issues I have, which is basically the main issue I have with this sunscreen. Um, let's move on to, let's start first of all with the pros of this sunscreen. Now, with regards to the pros of this sunscreen, this one comes with SPF 30, which is, um, I wouldn't say it's, it's a high enough protection, but it's high enough for daily use, in my own opinion, which is why I think it has um, daily use written here. Basically, it's recommended for daily use and not for active use. So, um, it's good enough for, basically, if you just wake up in the morning, dress up and you go to the office and you're in the office like six o'clock in the evening and you leave the office so it offers you that kind of protection but it doesn't offer enough protect enough protection for those of you who might be working outside all day so this is in my opinion is basically just for those that work indoors um so it protects offers a protection of spf 30 which also comes with broad spectrum meaning it protects against uva and uvb rays at the same time um price factor this i got this bo this bottle currently goes for seven dollars and 58 cents i think on amazon us and um for 118 meals i think it's quite affordable over here in Nigeria, I got it for 5,500 Naira from Alio Beauty. Um, I checked the website and I think they've either gone out of stock or they've noticed that most customers have, a, have complaints about it and they've taken it down. So it's no longer available on, on Alio Beauty. Um, 
for those of you that have issues with alcohol in your sun in your skincare this product doesn't come with alcohol as you can see here there's no denatured alcohol listed in the ingredients so you should check it out um like i said previously it has a clear cut expiry date so that you know if um you still have a lot of time left for you to use the sunscreen or if it is close to expiry personally i don't go for sunscreens that have one year left on them i prefer maybe like two years or one year six months left one year left i i'm not really a fan of that so depends on what you want um this is a mixture of chemical and physical sunscreens so in my opinion the photo stability should be high due to the due to the fact that included zinc oxide and titanium dioxide in the formula and most importantly in my opinion when the few times i've used this on my face it doesn't stink at around the eyes my eyes don't water up when i use it so i think it's really great though i've seen comments on the web um people complaining that when they use it around their eyes it actually stinks so i guess it's like um a person to person issue what um, reaction I might have might not be the same for you and you know you get my point so moving on to the cons of this sunscreen now in regards to the cons one of the major cons like I previously explained to you guys is the white cast the, the white cast is quite terrible and sometimes it looks purplish white you know like when you use calamine lotion that's basically what it looks like and I'm not a fan of that and most people walking around tend to look at you and wonder if maybe you have, I don't know, one of those diseases that require you to use calamine lotion on your body. The white cast is just, uh -uh. this is like five, five, five minutes after I applied it and it, it's just there. It doesn't disappear at all. It's still, you can still notice the white cast. So that's one of the major cons. Then two, if you are fighting hyperpigmentation, this sunscreen doesn't have like an exact uva rating which would guide you in making a good choice so um personally i stick to sunscreens that have an spf of 50 plus with a minimum uva boot star rating of three stars or they must come with there's this um uva with a circle logo that you tend to see on sunscreens the uva with a circle logo tells you that that sunscreen has a third of the spf protection in UVA protection for example this sunscreen comes with an SPF of 30 if it had a UVA logo that had a circle on it that would mean it offers UVA protection of 10 so basically for me if you're fighting hyperpigmentation I don't this SPF 30 is fine but what is the UVA um, UVA protection rating for it it doesn't really say just it just tells you broad spectrum so protection that you're getting from UVA for, for UVA might not be really that high and you might just be wasting your time with it if you're having hyperpigmentation. Now, um, sorry about that, I've got a code. Um, in conclusion, considering this is actually marketed as a face lotion, I'd recommend it only for folks that wear makeup as that's the only way, in my opinion, to hide the white cast. So you just use it on your face and afterwards you apply like makeup over it and hopefully that should fix it. I really don't know. I've never tried it before. I don't wear makeup. The least makeup I wear is a primer and the primer, I wear a primer because just for the mattifying effect, it's a transparent primer. So I wear it just to mattify, you know, my oily skin. Um, like I said previously, price wise, this currently retails for $7.58 on Amazon US and um, in Nigeria it cost me 5,500 now, though I can't find it anywhere right now. So I guess that it's, um, that's all about it. I will leave the link, um, the Amazon link in the description box below. So that's all for now for this review. Thanks for tuning in. And if you appreciate this review, please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for future updates. Thank you very much.